Uh, welcome to this video on which part of the colon is removed during colon cancer surgery. Uh, my name is Vinay Samuel Gaikwad. I'm the director of surgical oncology at CK Dilla Hospital in Gurgaon. First, we have to understand what is the colon. So if you look at this diagram here, uh, the center part is the small intestine and the part in the periphery is the large intestine or the colon. So if you can see the small intestine is creeping into uh, this part which is the cecum which is in which the appendix is attached. The part that is going up is called the ascending colon. That is the hepatic flexure which is near the liver. The transverse colon here, the splenic flexure near the spleen, the descending colon, sigmoid colon and rectum. So once we understand the parts of the colon, then depending on which part of the colon is affected by the cancer, uh, that part of the colon will be removed. For example, if the colon is on this side, which is the right side, the cecum ascending colon or hepatic flexure, we perform a right hemicolectomy. The right half of the colon is removed. If the tumor is on the left side, the splenic uh, descending or sigmoid colon, it's a left hemicolectomy. Uh, there are other types of resections as well, like segmental resections, sigmoid colectomies, extended resections. But for the most part, a right or left hemicolectomies are the standard uh, procedures that are done. This can be done through minimally invasive approaches as well as conventional open approaches. Also what's important is to remove the lymph nodes which are supplying that part of the colon uh, along the vessels. So around 15 lymph nodes is what we aim for to obtain adequate staging of the tumor. Uh, after the surgery usually there is no effect on the uh, appetite of the patient or the ability to digest uh, food. It shouldn't cause a worry. So I hope that you understood which part of the colon is removed uh, depending on which part of the colon is affected by the cancer. Uh, thank you for your attention.